Hello guys, welcome back. Another episode here on the vanilla server. As always, this is Jason. And we haven't moved from where we were when we were last together. So nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. So you still haven't been to an ice bar. <laughs> uh, people seem to enjoy the last episode. Makes me happy. So, what's everybody been doing? Did you have a good weekend? Weekend's not over yet, Jason. Well, it is for people that aren't subscribed on Game Wisp. Okay. I've lost my mind. I'm arguing myself now. So, the normal spill here at the start of the episode, we've raised $17,000 for Extra Life Charity. It goes to the Children Miracle Network Hospitals. Um, so all the money that you guys donate, either through the link in the description or for those that are Game Wisps insiders of mine, all that money goes to Extra Life as well. And um, yeah, we've raised, like I said, seventeen thousand dollars so far. We have our uh, our our end of the year marathon in the works as well. Uh, a lot of people probably don't realize that we've been working on that. Um, if you watch the E3 videos, Sevenus actually announces that we will be doing it this year um, again for Extra Life. Uh, but what he doesn't talk about is when and where and all that. And that's not at a point where I can actually tell you. But I can tell you that it's going to be epic on a bigger scale than it has been in the past. Um, so we are uh, going to be in in person somewhere together more than likely and um, there'll be a lot of us probably not all of us because that'll be really hard to do but there'll be a lot of us and uh, we'll be doing stuff for charity as we always do um, we picked out a date for it actually and then we've had to move that date because the location that we want to do it in Already had something booked then, uh, but it it will be this year. I can I can guarantee you that, and um, it will be. Well, that's really that's really all the information I have is that it will be this year. Okay, we're gonna come around right here. So, um, I'm gonna tell you a personal story, and this is this is really personal to me, and so I don't want you to laugh. Or, or cry. Well, I guess you could cry. I guess that's okay. Yeah, you can cry. But I want you to laugh. You're already laughing, aren't you? You're such a jerk. Um, so, so, is it weird if I talk to you guys about uh, the underwear I wear? Is that weird? Because I'm about to. I'm about to do it. I'm so about to do it. So, um, if you guys followed Space Engineers, which is a series that you should have watched all of. Um, so if you haven't watched all of Space Engineers, you should. Because it was pretty good. Lots of fun was had. What did we put there? Okay. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to have more than I can hold. Okay. I can't wait till it's a time where I can make it make it sleep. Uh, so, if you watch Space Engineers, I told a story about how whenever you're born, there's a lot of things that happen before you have the mindset to control certain things about your the aspects of your life. And one of those those big aspects of your life is the underwear that you wear. And that shit happens whenever you, I mean, you're basically potty trained, and then your parents decide what kind of underwear you're going to wear, and um, that's all well and good, because you assume that they, they've, they've been on this planet long enough to know what kind of underwear to wear, too. I think more people should be having this conversation, by the way, the conversation we're having. I think, I think every YouTuber needs to come out and say what kind of underwear they wear. I, I'm actually calling for this type of reform to happen. 
Um, <clears throat> so, I, uh, I was indoctrinated into the Briefs family. Uh, that's not our last name, but it might as well have been, because that's what the hell I wore. And uh, I guess that's what my dad wore, too. In fact, I know that's what he wore, because I've, I've, I've seen it before. Um, and uh, that's probably how I ended up, because it's not like you're, it's not like the mother picks the, uh, the underwear for the kid. I mean, I'm assuming that happens from time to time, too, especially whenever uh, the baby daddy leaves when the baby's born. But that's, a, that's another sad ghetto story. Um, alright, if I do this, then I'll be alright. That was ingenious, wasn't it? Wasn't that some ingenious shit? You, you were impressed. Don't, don't act like you weren't. Let's, uh, let's sleep. We're gonna clear the rain. Everything's gonna be great. So, uh, so yeah, I was, I was a briefs boy. And, uh, not like boxer briefs either, like straight up whitey tighties. Um, man, I'm sleeping on the edge uh, of rain and snow. Um, so about about um, about high school. So, anyways, I wore briefs, whitey tighties, for a long time, um, up until the point that. Uh, okay, so right there it is. That's one where my my line was at. To the point that uh, I was in high school, and I was getting very serious with um, the the ladies, the ladies, uh, <laughs> and I I thought that the whitey tidies. I mean, I mean, it, my girlfriend had never said anything about the whitey tidies to make me think that they were embarrassing in any way, but um, I decided I would try out boxers, and oh man. Boxers were fantastic. Had, I had never known that such free will could be given to any th penis. <laughs> so suddenly you go from um, a world filled with tight grip and strangulation. I don't know what else to call it, really. And then you go from that to a world of openness. Everything is free. Everything is awesome, like the Lego song. Um and that and that is fantastic, um, and I did not realize that some of the things that came with that weren't all good. It took me many years to actually recognize, like the problem with boxers. As someone who who has to wear a belt a lot, because I I'm really bad at buying clothes the right size for me. I guess is my problem. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. But I'm always having to wear a belt because, like, my pants are never the right size. They're always a little bit too big or something. Um, and so when your pants start falling, this is like, I, this is the shit I wish somebody had told me when I was younger. And nobody did. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jut over, I think, right here. I don't know. I don't, I don't like how this is so much steeper here. And it's not over here. So I think we're going to move this around. Um, so the thing about about boxers is they do um, oops they bunch up a little bit, especially if you're pulling your pants up a lot. You'll get you'll get constant underwear being bunched up, and uh, that's no big deal. It's not a bit bad bad thing. It's not a big problem because um, you just kind of fix it. But like when your pants are falling out, like what happens is the boxers get pulled up with the pants, and uh, then you're not really pulling your boxers up anymore. You're just you're not you're not doing anything really. You're just pulling your pants up, and, or yeah, you're not pulling your pants up anymore. You're pulling your pants up for like a second, and then they're just right back down again because the whole boxer issue, because the boxers kind of came up. Is this making any sense to anybody? I'm telling you, this is a real this is an epidemic. Um. So, so anyways, I went from the time I was in high school until last year, all I wore were boxers. So I had, I had grown up and I had, I'd wore briefs for a long time. Uh, pfft, let's think about this. Um, God, so I was born, probably wore diapers for a year or so, and then... And then after that, I started wearing briefs 
until I was like 15. So that's like 14 years, man, of just wearing whitey tighties. And um, okay, all right. So we've got we've got our railroad connected all the way from our children's hospital to the first town. Now we have not actually connected the railroad portion, which I'm gonna go probably do next. In fact, I'll go ahead and turn around. I was gonna go up here and finish the the stop, but we can do that later. Um. So. I, I had gotten used to all these the the because because again boxers are not perfect they're not um, even though you got that breeze that air your balls are breathing I mean that's probably why my well we won't we won't talk about my sperm count <laughs> that's that's probably too much information um, let's just say I did not have a trouble having a child um, <laughs> it's probably still too much information. Uh, but anyway, so apparently if you wear boxers, it's good for uh, air flow. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all of this. But again, I think this is a conversation that everyone should be having with their kids. And most parents are afraid to talk to their kids like this. My daughter's going to be so fucked up because I'm just going to tell her everything. Well, I'm not going to tell her any of this type of stuff because this really isn't relevant to her. But if I had a son, he'd be fucked up. Let's just put it that way. Alright. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm proud of it, don't I? Oh, he be so fucked up, man, I tell you. Anyways. So, I went... I went back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I went back to briefs. I, I didn't do it on purpose. My wife actually bought me some. Um, and so, I was like, ugh, briefs. This is not, this is not good. They're gonna, this is gonna suck. But I was like, I'll give it a shot. And what I realized is I had missed so much. This white friendly hand that cups your balls. And puts everything in a nice, wonderful place. And nothing's moving around. Nobody's, you know what probably happened? Because they say with age, your balls like, and your, and boobs for women, like fall because of gravity. I bet I didn't need as much grip early on as I do now got them saggy balls if you're under the age of 13 you should not be watching my channel just want to get that out there and you've been told so now if you're if you're under you probably already left if, I, if I'm if I'm honest if you were under the age of 13 you were like this creepy old fucking guy I'm out of here he's weird and you were right to do that I commend you you're not hearing me because you're already left anyways um, <laughs> so, so I've switched back. I, this was right before PAX South or so. And I was, I was singing the praise, man. At PAX South, I was telling everybody, listen, if you wear briefs, and I tried, I tried boxer briefs too, so don't, don't come at me with your alternative medicine. Cause I've, 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 I, I am, I, I'm a monk at this point. I could travel. And talk about underwear. I'm telling you, because this story right here, we're just getting fucking started. You're about to get your shit blown. Um. So, before London, I decided that it was not. I was. It was time to take it a step further because I tried all the different types, different types of underwear, briefs, boxer briefs, boxers, all the different every everything. Sevedish. It's weird that Sevedish showed me this thing, but he showed me this like hip, hip, hip. I just keep saying the word hip. Um, <laughs> it's like a hip. <laughs> and don't stop. Uh, <laughs> the How do you describe this? The underwear only attaches to one side. It like, you like, it's weird. It only, it's only, it's like a one leg, only one leg goes... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it, but I got a pair. Because <laughs> Seven has showed them to me. Um, that was at PAX East. He didn't show me like his or anything. We were we were talking about underwear. This is a, co a common subject. And uh, he's like, you, you've seen these? Um, oh man, I could have just, those words almost came out of my mouth. And I just, I'm glad I didn't say them. 
Aurelian, never mind, 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 never mind. Um, this is also PAX East. <laughs> she was telling us about something that she showed us on the internet too, but it's not important. It's really not important. In case she's wondering what I'm talking about, it's the Thor thing. Aurelian, if you hear, hear this video, but I'm not going to tell them. I won't, I won't tell them. Your secret's safe. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh... So, before I went to London, I, I, at this point, the story is I'm sold, I'm sold on, um, on, on briefs, right? So, we, we, we could accept that, and I, that doesn't mean you have to agree. You don't have to agree. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not expecting, I'm not trying to sell you on anything here. But what I did is I wanted to know, whoa, did you guys see an explosion up there? I wanted to know what the best briefs were, so I had, I had decided that you know this is my type of underwear. But now I must find the best of the of the best. Like I like I've I've found my subset, and so now I have to go deeper. So I went around to every store I I could find that sold underwear that was different from another store, and I bought them. Just one pack, not like all of their underwear. But I when I left here for London, I had so many different brands of underwear. I was I was on a, like an underwear quest, a, a saga, the the saggy saga. I don't that does not really sound like something good. Let's not call it the saggy saga. Let's call it the quest for uh um. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing, nothing that's coming to mind isn't really offensive. Um, hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It was a journey. It was a quest. It was an epic adventure that me and my balls set out on in the Grand Queensland. And um, I didn't tell anyone about this. You're, you're actually all the first to know what my wife knew. But it's, you know, oh, that's this is never going to work. I could lay there until the end of days. Um. You wanna sleep? And with me, Michael, beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah, see, see, he heard me singing. He heard me singing. Okay, gotta do it quick though. There's a zombie coming. Oh, we made it. We fucking made it. We did it, Michael. You and me. Um, so anyways, uh, I go, I go to London with all my, my, uh, hashtag success <laughs> with all my underwear. I, I probably should have like claimed it on like customs or something. Cause I had just so many different types, like a whole suitcase full. And this is a, this, I, I should warn you guys, this shit's sadder than, uh, uh, what was that dog that we, that we killed? Um, uh, old yeller. This is just sadder than old yeller. We didn't kill him by the way the world killed him anyways um so i spend two weeks trying on different pairs of underwear two weeks and i find and the this the, the mm, mm, hurts me to even tell this story i find the perfect the perfect underwear the perfect underwear it's called evolve evolve advantage it's sold only at target Target's the only place, and they and anyone that knows me knows how much it hurts. It hurts me to shop at Target after having to go to court against them and win a lawsuit against them. It hurts. I I said I would never go back to Target after they sued me, and I did. I did. I went and I bought underwear, and it was the best underwear. The best. The best underwear. I'm telling you, it's so good. Everything you could ever want from something that touches your genitals is included in this underwear. From that, you probably think it gives you blowjobs. It might as well. It's that good. So, I am so sold on this, right? I come home from this adventure, this quest, the panty... Well, no, men don't call them that. My daughter keeps calling my, my wife will wash clothes and she's like, Oh, there's daddy's panties. No, they're not. They're not panties. Anyways, that's beside the point. I'll teach her one day. 
<laughs> um, so anyways, I get back home and I have to go to play at con, so I do that too. And uh, I get back and I say to my wife, I say, wife, we must go to the store and we must buy underwear in multiple and the thing is it was twelve dollars for two six dollars a piece of piece of underwear there's only two in a pack so i go to target and i'm just i'm a chipper happy motherfucker i'm skipping skipping got i got i got I'm wearing my evolve advantage underwear right then going into going to buy some more it's kind of like <clears throat> going to the buffet as a tomato i don't know what it's like it's not like going to a buffet as a tomato that's that's like that's a weird thing too. That's like Hannibal going to a playground. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I've lost my mind, okay? Long story short, they've discontinued that underwear. And not only have they discontinued it in the two weeks I was gone, it's gone everywhere. It's not available online. I can't find it on eBay. Not that I would want to buy underwear from eBay, but I was willing. Can't. Can't. It was created April 2014. I've researched this shit. I know all about it. It was created April 2014, and they discontinued it June 2015. Done. They're done with it. They're not making it anymore. They're not selling anymore. The ones they had in stores, they fucking shipped them back to the warehouse. I don't know what they're doing with them. There's probably some really happy, happy motherfuckers in Africa that are getting free underwear now. And there's they're, they're like, this is the best fucking underwear ever. And you're like, yeah, it sure is. Who told us? He told us. So... Needless to say, I'm a nudist now. And I don't even think about food. I don't even realize I'm, I'm going to starve soon. And all of a sudden, I'm taking damage. And I'm like, what in the hell is going on? And I realize I'm starving. And uh, so I see in the distance the teepee, or what was left of an igloo. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be rescued by the igloo, right? So I run towards it, and there's one chest that's left. Paul's had left one chest behind at his old igloo. And uh, so yeah, I run up to it, open it up, and there's just there's, there's the tools and stuff. The only food is two zombie flesh. So I'm like, all right, I, I, I'm okay. I'm going to survive. So I eat the zombie flesh, and um, I start walking again. Like, all right, well, you know, now that I now that I think about it, I, I know what the hell I'm doing. So I chop down some trees and uh, make a wooden sword, and I start killing some mobs, <sighs> kill some pigs, you know, and I I, I eat those. And everything's good. And uh, <sighs> like I asked generic B what the coordinates were because I had forgotten. You know, it'd been a while since I already walked out, out there the first time. Uh, like I remembered that it was a 13,000 X, but I couldn't remember what the Z was. And so he told me, and I, I, I didn't hear the negative part. So I go to the Z first, and I just start walking again. And I'm like, hell, I don't recognize any of this stuff from the last time I walked out here. What the hell? Um, I'm checking it out, and I keep running into like little, little hidey holes that other people have had. It's probably paused whenever he did his <laughs> Far Lens or Bust uh, Minecraft style. Um, oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. This is serious business now. This is not to be played with. Where did he go? Okay, he took the other one out. And I just wrecked that, that guy's house. Um, I guess I should kind of light this village up for him or something. I feel like these guys aren't very safe. 